Okay. Well, hey guys, sorry about the lighting or whatever. I just basically wanted to come on here. I've gone over in my head like a million and one different ways to start this video to uh, just talk about everything that's about to go down. First and foremost, if you're watching, you've read the title, you know what this is. I'm basically at the final stage in my life and in my transition to kind of finalize everything for me. I am finally getting FFS done here in Beverly Hills um, by Dr. Harrison Lee. Today is going to be my second consult meeting with him. I've always wanted to do FFS for myself and I felt like back then it was always so hounded on me in my comments of like, you still look like a man, you look like a man, like get FFS already, stop with all the fillers. And it was like always like, it was my insecurity then and I didn't want to act out on making such an abrupt change just because the comments I was receiving at that time in my life of just, you look like a man, you look like a, a tranny, um, you still look like a man, you sound like a man, just everything that brought me down then, I knew that if I was to get FFS then, I was not doing it for myself, I was doing it for the online world of all the trolls and everyone coming after me. Now, fast forward two or three years later, I have grown into my own person, my La Demi, I solely feel so complete, well, obviously not that complete. I realized that the last final stage of my transition of closing that chapter, not closing that chapter, because obviously it's going to be an open book for the rest of my life, but the final lid on top and the final cherry on top and the final everything I need for myself is finally me wanting FFS. This is me actually looking in the mirror and not listening to society, not listening to the comments, not listening to anything else, looking in the mirror and saying, I want that for myself. I want that to reflect the woman I am inside on the outside. I want it because I'm at a stage in life where I'm ready for that. It's been almost five and a half years since I've transitioned and I've waited a hell of a long time. I even waited three years into my transition to even get boobs and get a trinky shape and all of that stuff. So I'm finally at the fucking stage in my life to look in the mirror and say, I want it for me. Not for you, not for all of those of you online, not for anything else, but for me. And I'm on camera here because I've shared every single fucking thing and every part of my transition online with you guys through every single surgery, every single video, me coming out, just everything has been online. So why not share one of the most important surgeries of my life online with you guys? I have watched so many videos online of other girls and I don't know, I just feel like even though I'm watching, I still don't feel like I'm complete of knowing like every single day, every single minute of like what it's like, what you go through, the surgeries, the steps, just everything. So I'm gonna try doing my best in this to kind of explain all of that for you guys that just don't know. And like me, laying in bed, the past three weeks and a month watching every single FFS journey story there it has, or it has to be online and trying to get a grasp of what I'm going into and what I need to prepare myself for. I think I owe a huge thank you to Nikita Dragon. Just a month and a half ago or so, we were hanging out. It was right before LeRae's birthday party that she threw and we were in the car and I just kind of told her, you know, like, I really want FFS. And those words slipped from my mouth and immediately she picked up the phone, put it on speaker, and I thought she was just making a business call. Harrison Lee's office answered and Nikita said, hi, this is Nikita Dragon, and they started screaming on the phone and they were like, oh my god, we haven't heard from you in like four years. Nikita was like, I need to come in. I have a close friend of mine and I need you guys to help her and finish out her journey. I remember screaming at the top of my lungs with Nikita. They immediately got me in. Um, Nikita went to my first consult ever with me, sat there. If it really, if it wasn't for her taking that jump in urgency and just grabbing me with arms wide open and saying, Demi, I got your back, let's fucking go. And I think that's the first time any trans girl in the community and any transgender woman has ever done that for me. In the community, there's so many people that always wanna be prettier and better and hotter than all the other trans girls out there. And to me, although Nikita's like one of my closest friends, like I 
didn't really expect that. She told me, she was like, I owe it to you. Like, it's it's the least I can do for you. We've always stuck together. So I just want to give a huge thank you to Nikita um, for putting all this in line for me, for helping me out, and making this all fucking happen for me. Um, I love you so much, and I don't think I could ever, 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 ever thank you enough. Here is the start of my transition journey, guys. I'm so excited, I can't believe and eight days from today, I am going to be completely made over. I feel like that motherfucking show, what was that TV show, The Swan, where the moms would go in and get all this shit done, like a nose job and like, I don't know, a chin job, and then they would come out and all the family would be waiting for them. I used to be so obsessed with that show. And I remember watching that show being like, oh, if only if I can go in and get all this stuff done and get some boobs and like come out and be like myself. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. Thank you guys for watching this. And thank you to anyone that has been a part of this journey with me for so long. Um, I, you guys have seen me through the ups, the downs, and I think this is going to be one of the highest points of my self-growth of who I am as a person. Finalization to my transition. So I love you guys. This is going to be an intensive ride, so buckle up. I'm going to be showing everything there is to show. and. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little twirl. Next time you see this mug, I'm gonna be a whole new bitch. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and um, I couldn't do this without you. So here's my finalization to my transition and my story. Love you guys. Okay. So. We're gonna lower the hairline a little bit? Yes. Okay, I'll try to bring it down. Is it recording already? Yes. At least one inch. Okay. Okay. Then are we addressing the brow bone? Yes. Okay. The, the frontal bone here is a little bit higher than this side, so I may want to take this part down just a little bit. Okay. And then we'll take this down. Okay. okay. Make it softer. And then with bringing the hairline down, does that raise that area up? A brow. Did you want to lift it? Yeah. Okay, that's easy. We're there anyway, so we'll make it arch a little bit. Lateral third, which is right here, should be at the peak. Okay? Okay. Nose? Yes. Okay. Um, Any well, breathing issues? I've, I've always breathed through my mouth. Mm -hmm. um, I've never really I used think my nose. Most likely you have a deviated septum. Yeah, probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to correct that. Okay. So you can breathe. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because see how it's leaning to the left? Your nose is leaning to the left. Okay. We want to straighten that. Okay? Okay. Want to make it straight. You want to take this down, right? Yeah, I want more like a cute pushed up. Right. Not too much. Not too much, but okay. it slightly goes down, but right. I would like it to just be cute and more. Right. See this angle here? Mm -hmm. This and the lip? Yours is like kind of acute. We want it up. Okay. That means we need to elevate the tip. Okay? So I need to do what's called an open rhinoplasty. I'm going to make a zigzag incision right here and lift everything up so I can do everything under direct vision. Okay. Okay? Then this will be remodeled. We'll take that down. It'll be centered. Most likely, again, I'm going to have to uh, straighten your septum, which is the inner wall. Okay. Metal wall, and that'll need to be straightened because that's the foundation. So we'll take this down, straighten everything, and then I'm going to probably put a graft in here to lift it up and make it nice and cute. Perfect. Okay. And um, with that, can I? I remember last time we said like we could do a lip lift with that. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yes. So you want a lip lift? It's going to be a bullhorn incision right at the base of the nose and probably take about a third of the distance, third of the skin over here, and then we're gonna lift everything up. So you display more of your front teeth. Yes. Okay? Yep. And here, we're gonna do what's called a genioplasty, right? Take out the middle section. Right. So I'm gonna take some of this too, right? You want this narrow too, don't you? Yeah. So we're going to do a jaw reduction and then do a genioplasty. Genioplasty, I'm going to be cutting the chin horizontally like this. 
all from inside the mouth. Then I'm gonna take out a middle segment. I may take out a sliver of the horizontal segment because I wanna shorten the chin just a little bit. And then I want you to get somewhat a result like that. Okay? Okay. What do you think? Sounds gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It sounds good. Sounds gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I want. And your skin is really tight. But I'm gonna, do little, I'm gonna do a little lipo here. Okay. Tighten things up. Do you think the buckle would give me more of like a Bella Hadid? Yeah, I could take out the buckle fat fat. That's easy. And do you think if I did more of like a, a cat eye lift, it would be too much on me? Like more like opening my eye? Well, like because we're up here, I mean, I can do a little bit of a lift. Yeah, because my eyes go down and yeah, I hate that. I, I, can, I can do a little bit more of a lift, a temporal lift, give you a little bit more cat eyes. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you do next Thursday? Yeah. Yeah. Instead of Friday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you're set for Friday, but, but we have an open on Thursday instead. I prefer to do it Thursday. Yeah, I put everything on hold, my whole business, Glam House, everything's at hold to get this done. My whole team is like so it's excited. Good. And we're doing a reveal party after the month, so you guys Perfect. will all be invited. It's right. a huge thing. <laughs> How about all the fillers and everything she has in her face now? Are you guys going to remove that? No problem. I mean, if I encounter it, I remove a little bit if she wants. Like, I mean, fillers won't get in the way. Okay. I mean, I deal with fillers every day. No, I was just asking because I think she wanted to remove all her fillers and stuff and start fresh. Well, just maybe with my top lip, because I know without the filler, it's a lot lower. Mm -hmm. And I really want it. I really love the, like, the really foreign, lifted, beautiful up. So yeah. what kind of filler do you have in your upper lip? Um, Jupiter. Let's dissolve that dissolve. before I do the lip lift next week. Yeah, okay. Okay. Because I definitely, I would like, I would because like, I want like a to five get the ml maximum display. Yeah, because okay. five ml is like the maximum to take up to really give you a full like five ml milliliter. Is that called? What it's, I don't. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> five millimeters is nothing. Okay. <laughs> it's only a little bit. Yeah. I intend on taking a little bit more than five millimeters. Yeah, and I want like a beautiful like so, show my teeth. In order for me to do that properly. I would like you to dissolve some of this stuff. Okay. So can you go to the injector and just have it dissolved? 100%. Okay. How about the cheekbones and all the, she has filler everywhere. I already have, I already uh, have it in my No, I, I'm just her brother. I'm her brother and I'm, I'm very, no, this is, this is very good. I think well, she should. I, I want her to look natural. Right, like, so I don't want her to get this, this work done and then like look, like still have filler and shit, you know? Definitely. No problem. Um, okay. I do know, I haven't done it in like almost two years now. But I was getting my the tip of my nose injected a little bit. So I worry about that. Don't worry about it. Fine. Mm -hmm. And I have a picture. I don't know if I should, you want to see now or later Show of my desired now. nose. But I think it would look so sickening on me. <laughs> Show it to me now. Are you ready? Gonna, I think I'm gonna look hey, sick. Gonna, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna show you behind. They're gonna be sick and but they better not make me sick. How are they gonna reduce your forehead a little bit? Yeah, we have to Oh great. My hairline it's finally. Now. I'm just kidding. You want it like that? I told her that's too much. You don't like that nose? Or She's like showing a lot of nostril. Mm -hmm. Or cute and push stuff like that. I can do that for you. Because I already know I have a small bridge. I don't have right. a huge nose that I'm working with. But, that but a little bit less show of the nostrils. Yeah, for sure. Okay, that's too much. Okay. That's a Miss Piggy look. Mm. You don't want that. A little no. less than that, okay? But I'll make it really cute. And then the whole eye moment, I love that. Mm -hmm. So I think that will take it there for me. I'll do it. <laughs> when we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Woo. Looking a little rough, guys. Hi, how are you? I just landed in Dallas, Texas. It is five days before my surgery. I don't even know if this clip will make it, but it's five days before my surgery. I have been taking Arnica pills since three days ago. Arnica pills just to help with bruising and swelling. I've completely stopped drinking. Um, 
maybe like three nights ago I had like a glass of red wine, but that's it. But red wine is like good for your heart, so who really cares? Um, I'm here in Dallas, Texas. I am visiting a friend, like a, a guy friend. Um, he's very like, not discreet, just very, just like to himself in private, so I can't really like say who, but it's his birthday and we are just gonna hang out and go to dinner and whatever. He wants to spend it with me, so I flew in from LA to coming out in Dallas and kind of get like my one last hurrah out before I'm just like completely cut off from the world for a month. So um, gonna hang out with him for his birthday. Um, he's a Dallas Cowboy player. So that's kind of cute. I grew up on Dallas Cowboys. Obviously I'm from Texas. So yeah, I'm just gonna be in Dallas, Texas for the night. I leave tomorrow morning back to LA and then I just get started with all my blood work, paperwork, drop off my prescription and start preparing myself for surgery. I also need to get my top lip dissolved. So I'm like panicking because I have so much to do, but yeah, I forgot that I committed and said that I would come and I'm one of those people that once I say yes, like it's hard for me to say no and I have FOMO. So anyways, yeah, now I'm here in Dallas, Texas. Um, I know Cole's here too somewhere, so maybe he'll pop up somewhere. But yeah, I love Dallas, Texas. I mean, I love Texas in general, you know? It's just very my vibe, very like laid back, homey, chill. Um, other than that, I'm super excited. Five fucking days away and I'm gonna be all butchered and cut up, so. Trying to get out my glam, my wig fantasies and all that because I'm not going to be able to do any of that for a hot minute, so. And I'm back. I don't know if you guys remember, but I was here sitting in this little chair last year at this exact same time, I think, because I, around this time last year, had my BBL with Alexander Sinclair, so I'm back here about to get fully stabbed and jabbed getting a COVID test and um, hold on I feel like I have to burp excuse me <laughs> um, she's had enough of me she do you remember me now or no I still remember you still remember me okay loud and obnoxious yeah and a big baby um, but yeah I'm basically here again and um, gonna get my blood drawn get tested it's now three days before surgery I'm Feeling a little anxious, excited, and is it gonna hurt or no? No, it's not. Come on, you're my friend. Remember? <laughs> you friend used now. to be my friend after you charged me two hundred and fifty. <laughs> you were my friend. Oh no, no. Last time you charged friend. me twenty dollars. <laughs> well, it was different test. It was a different yeah. test. Of course, yeah. This time they really want to know everything, huh? They want to know since you were born. They want to know my <laughs> STDs. They want to know who I slept with. They want to know everything. I mean, I guess it's good anyway because it updates me. Mm -hmm, yeah, of course. Well, I haven't been tested in like a year, two years. It's about time then. Yeah, it's about motherfucking mm -hmm. time. I can't look, otherwise I'll pass out. Okay, you don't have to look. I'm scared. No, just take a Am I gonna pass out or no? No, you're not. You're fine. Ugh. How much you need, sis? Just four. Four? Four vials, yes. Four vials? Yes, and you're doing fine. We're halfway there. No, I'm, not, I'm gonna be lightheaded. <laughs> One was enough, sis. Not four. Oh. Another one. Yes, the last one. Jesus. I feel a little lightheaded. Are you? You're strong. Come on. They take a lot of blood, huh? Mm -hmm. I had COVID three months ago. Oh, you, you did. So the antibodies are right in there. Okay. Well, this is precious blood then. It's three days away till my surgery. Tomorrow morning, I have my x-rays and then dissolving all of my top lip filler. I am like excited, I'm nervous. I have like a whirlwind of emotions, almost like a, like a should I do it? No, I'm gonna do it. No, I'm gonna look amazing. Like all this stuff, cause it's like parting ways with this face and this face has literally got me through a lot. To this face right now, you were a nice run. Thank you, thank you a lot. <laughs> But I'm just so excited. I don't know. It's like a, it's such a weird feeling of just like being excited. And I had a moment with myself of just like thinking about how, as a kid, the way I look now and the way I I am now, I just slid at me. I'm here at the place I am right now in life because I brought myself here because I challenged myself 
here. I took so many L's and I'm finally here at the point to where I'm getting like the lid closed on my transition, well, getting the cherry on top and it's really since still the deal so it's just kind of surreal to me to know that I've worked my ass off to be at this point to hope that you take some kind of enlightenment or you take some kind of courage or you take some kind of confidence from me from this channel from everything i built up to now i hope i influence you to be the ultimate fucking best version of yourself and if there's anything you don't like fuck what anyone else has to say you fix it it's your life it's up to you you do what you want and you create this life because it's your story and bitch you're the only person that should be writing it not society, not your friends, not the world, not your parents, you. finished getting my x-rays done for the bone shaving. Bless you! <laughs> I am here at um, AFL getting my top lip fully dissolved before I have surgery on Thursday. As you guys know, uh, one of the things he wants to do is lift my lip completely up and just make it look really pouty, show more of my top teeth, which is a very feminine thing to have. So here I am. Oh, it looks like I um, just had fun with my boyfriend. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> this is my girlfriend. Hi. If you guys ever are in Beverly Hills or LA and want to come to a place for fillers, dissolvents, everything and above, you need to come check out AFL. Um, my girlfriend Erica LaPearl and Melly Sanchez referred me to come here. Um, they're like, you have to go there. So here I am getting dissolved and I think after I get the whole procedure done and once I'm back you know recovered and in the groove I might look at myself and say maybe I might want some more filler back in here and I might not bitch and I'll be right back here at AFL getting a little vamp up um but yeah I will touch base with you guys later it's my final night before surgery guys I just got off the phone with like my mom and like some friends and Nikita and just like family members and stuff and everyone's just like wishing me like all this great energy of like you know I'm with you praying for you and a speedy recovery even like my business partners with the glam house like it's just so exciting and I really just feel so loved overlined a little bit today but my top lip really went down like I don't know if you could tell I look awful right now but I dissolved a lot of my top lip without the lipstick you can really see how low it's gotten because before my lip I feel like was like up here and now it's like gone down with all the fillers being dissolved. I have three more hours until I can't eat or drink anything. And I know for like the first two weeks, I'm not gonna be able to chew. My jaw is gonna be like out of it and all the incisions in my mouth. So what better fucking way, bitch, but to be a fat ass. This is very toxic. I kind of grew up on this. I remember like whenever like my parents like didn't know what the fuck to make, it always, I could smell this in the oven. Like I knew it was like one of those lazy nights, you know, maybe I could probably stay up late on a school night because we were having DiGiorno and my parents didn't really give a fuck that night. I went to Ralph's and I picked up some motherfucking Jell-O. There's, um, there's this like pudding with like rice in it. This is a strawberry flavored applesauce. This is strawberry flavored Jell-O. Strawberry is my favorite. And then just a little moment. And then I have some, okay, so I don't like soup really so this is gonna be my soup that I eat the prego this goes actually in like the meat sauce for spaghetti but I just want to eat that I'm gonna try going to sleep early and drinking as much water as I can now I am literally so fucking I can't believe like I'm doing this like I'm actually like doing this like I've always wanted to do this then I got comfortable with myself and then I didn't want to do it and then I did want to do it and I didn't want to do it and now I'm finally doing it and I feel like it's not just a one, two, three thing I'm getting done. It's like a full, whole ass 11, 12 procedures I'm having done. I've paid in full today. Ugh, that doesn't make my account look too cute. But I'm excited. And this is going to be a whole new chapter of my life. I'm calling this the final chapter. And then the next chapter will be the first chapter of my new book. 
So this is kind of like the final fucking chapter of this story I've been writing on my journey and my transition. I just want to say thank you to everyone for always allowing me or just accepting me for me and everything I've done along this journey. It just, it means a lot to me and like, it just hurts me to know that there's so many other people out there that can't do what I do and don't have the money or the resources and feel so stuck and trapped and I wish I could just like help and give everyone a hug and let them know within time like you can, you will and you can be everything and be whoever you want to be. And I guess just I think before I ever have a big moment like this, I think of my father. I wish you could be here. I don't know. Everything I've ever wanted to do in life, I've done. And the person I've always wanted to be, I am. And I'm just so happy. because I've had so many setbacks along my journey of being who I am and not thinking I could do it. And here I am, like at the final stage of something I've always wanted to do, like just to wrap everything up. And I've made it this far and I've gone through all my trials and tribulations and I've paid my dues and like, I'm finally at the point realizing who I am, who I've always wanted to be, and I've done everything on my own. It's a happy feeling, I swear. Morning of surgery. Morning. So we won't look like twins anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we never look like twins. <laughs> well, they say you have my eyes. They say you have my lips. And you have my nose. <laughs> so together we will not be one anymore. What do you think of the surgery? I think whatever makes you happy, I support. And I just pray to God you go through a safe surgery and you get out of there. Safely and you recover. So if I die, what do you want? Um, all your wigs. <laughs> all your wigs. <laughs> I need all the lace. I always knew you had a little something in you. Mm -hmm. And the high heels because we're like probably an inch away from each other. <laughs> You're changing your name. You changing my name to what? Um, I'm not gonna be La Demi no more. Yes, I am. I think right now I'm Demi. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be La Demi, the actual La Demi. Now I'm gonna be La Demi. Bro, ask you, what does the La stand for? Los Angeles. V. V. Oh yeah. V. Spanish means the V Demi. V Demi. Got it. And it just sounds pretty, don't you think? Hello, are you on the road now? Yes. I'm with oh. I'm with my big brother Diano. Hi, Miho. Hello. You doing okay this morning, babe? Yeah, I'm good. Hang in there, okay? I'm praying for you. It's gonna be okay. It's all gonna work out. Yeah, and then you just rest, don't stress. Um, you already took your medicines, I'm sure. I know you're on top of everything. You're yeah. good about that. for you and I'm nervous. I wish I was there. Um, if I got there, I wouldn't be able to get you until after you got out. So I'm looking at flights and I'm thinking about maybe uh, it's for a couple days, but just wait to see. I know you need to be settled. You can't be moved around too much. So I really don't want to go anywhere and 
make anybody uncomfortable either. And I want you to be comfortable and stress free. Just call me, mom, because I'm gonna be by her side most of the time. So okay. I'll, be, I'll be like at her bedside when she's recovering for the day and making sure. Oh, she's okay. thank you, my love. But thank you, mom. And Demi, you go into that surgery. God's gonna wrap his arms around you and protect you and hold you and make sure that everything is gonna go as well. Hold the doctor's hands, guide them. Um, you're going to be a, even more beautiful as ever, I'm sure. <laughs> I love you. May, your, may your dreams come true with Edward Scissor hands. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Good. Mom. Thank you. you. I love you too. Love you. love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Feeling? Are you ready? Like never before. We're ready, Doctor. Thank ready? you. Ready? Yep, reporting. Okay, we're here with our patient Lademi, beautiful Lademi here. Hi guys. She just wants to tune up certain things, uh, tweak certain things, and make certain areas a little softer today. So we'll be bringing down the hairline, doing a little brow bone reduction, and doing a little brow lift. We're going to be making the nose a little bit cuter. She wants an ever so slight slope. We're going to be bringing the tip up a little bit and defining that tip. Right, Lademi? 100%. <laughs> <laughs> and even though her upper lip is short, this ratio should be one to two, okay? Which will make her look even more attractive. As far as the jaw, we're going to be, when we palpate the, what are called the mandibular angles, the angles of the jaw, it seems to be flaring out a little bit. So we're going to be reducing that, making it a little bit more narrow and we'll be performing what's called a genioplasty for the chin because it's a little bit wide and she wants it nice and cute and have a little bit of a V-line. So with the genioplasty, I'll be explaining that during the operation as to how it will be performed. And because we're taking away some support mechanisms, of support structures here, uh, I think it'll be necessary, even though she's very young, we're going to be um, doing a little bit of a lift we're going to do a mid-face lift so that the tissues and the fat here do not sag after the operation. Ugh. Right? We don't like sagging. No sagging. No sagging. No sagging today. Absolutely not. Today's Thursday, no sagging. No sagging. October 1st, time right. to get spooky. So the incisions for the facelift will be inside the ear here, and I'm going to be pulling up on the musculature of the face, which is called the SMAS. I do a deep plane facelift. And this will be all brought up to obviate any, uh, any intercept any potential sagging of the skin and soft tissues. Okay, Lademi? Ready. What are we not doing today? <laughs> Hi, Vilma. Hi. This is the one and only amazing, famous <laughs> Vilma. She has been taking care of me and just walking me through everything and literally, truly being like a sister. I love you. I love you. Um, don't mind me. I was etching and sketching. Just everything on my face. What is happening? Oh, hairline. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good brain down. Perfect, here we go, bitch.
by the premolar region. Ladem, we just finished her surgery with Dr. Harrison Lee, and she did great. She's in recovery right now, and she's doing amazing. Oh. Hey, sweetie. You did great in surgery. We're all done. Mm -hmm. You did great, okay? You did it, girl. It hurts so bad. I know it hurts. You look like you're gonna look amazing, though. You can tell already? I can't tell already, but you can see the work that he's done. You're gonna look. You're gonna look great. Fishy. Very fish. Hello. Hello. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Amazing. How are you? My mask. Cool. What are we doing today? Okay, so today all we're doing is we're going to be removing your dressing, okay? I'm going to empty your drains, I'm going to clean your incisions, um, I'm going to make sure everything looks good, and then we wrap you. That's, that's basically it, okay. okay? So I'm about to see everything, huh? This is going to be epic. It looks really good. Wow. I just need to become an influencer so I can do my nose next time. Huh? <laughs> Are you trying to have hair? No. Mm -hmm. Trust me. You guys, you did that right. several times. You brought your hairline down too? That's oh, you should see that video. You have to send me the videos. You have them, you have videos of them operating as well? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. They took, they gave you, they took a few inches off that forehead. <laughs> so do I have to be changing these for her as well? No, so I'm going to rewrap her with a clean one, very lightly. This one's tight. The one I'm going to put, um, it's just very lightly just to cover her incisions. Um, and no, you don't have to do anything. We're going to leave it until Monday when she comes in. Okay. And I'll be removing it. And so I'm sure. Very tight anymore? No, not too tight. This is the drain. Oh wow. Kind of the drain goes all across the forehead. Oh, she even has screws in her head. Mm -hmm. She has three. Wow. It's including the scalp. Mind if I get in your face? Mm -hmm. This is crazy. Are uh, my eyes pulled up? Your eyes, your brows, everything's going up. <laughs> They're actually, they pulled you back. Swollen, but. Now you can really say you're 18 back. now. Really? <laughs> You're 18 now. <laughs> so this is the drain. Okay. Yeah. You see that here? Yeah, the drain. Swelling. Swelling here. Yeah. Everything looks normal. Can you feel this? Um, I can't feel it, but I can't feel what you talking at. A little bit? Okay, what about here? Uh-huh. In here? Uh-huh. Can you pucker your lips and then try to smile? Lift your eyebrows up. Perfect. You don't even need Botox anymore. Uh-huh. Did they do her, they did her chin too, Dr. Mm -hmm. Lee? Mm-hmm. Um, her jaw. Wow. The bone. 
You want to save that for memory? Wishbone. <laughs> so what was the most complicated procedure that you guys did that you guys came in with like? The, mm, I want to say, uh, you mean for her? For her, yeah. Not complicated, but I want to say um, what took him a while was definitely her nose. Her nose. Mm -hmm. He wanted to do exactly what she wanted. So proud of you. You did it. You made it through. Mm -hmm. Now let's recover and get you back out. Yeah. When the, for her being nauseous last night and throwing up, is that just like how it normally is when they come out of surgery or yes. do I have to look forward to cleaning throw up? Um, today that should get a lot better. Um, but it's not unusual if today she still feels nauseous okay. and does throw up. Got it. Mm-hmm. But she also has nausea medication. Okay. So. so right now, because she has the dreams, she can't wash her hair, okay? okay? After I remove them, she can definitely go in, shampoo it and everything. Okay. But as of now, no, not until I remove them, okay? Okay. So I don't need to drain her or anything. This is going to do everything. Yeah, no. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll show you how to do it. At least do it once a day. Okay. Um, but yeah, the less you touch it, the better. Got it. This is it. Uh -huh. Are we done with all the... This is the end of the journey. Uh -huh. that? Did you guys end up wiring her mouth? No. No. Oh, uh, well, there's plates and screws for the chin plate. Right. She does have plates and screws, but yeah. So she can't eat or anything like that? No, only liquids. Liquids? Mm-hmm. And that's for what period? Like for a month? She has to be on liquids? For two weeks. Two weeks? Mm -hmm. Smoothies. Okay. Uh, Just nothing where she has to chew. Exactly. Just strictly swallow. Mm-hmm. We shouldn't yeah. have a problem with the swallowing, right? right. She's not laughing at your jokes right now. <laughs> she loves me. She hates me. She loves me. Definitely. Okay. What things should I look out for? Fever. Fever. Excruciating pain. Okay. Well, like pain when I'm saying like she can't take it. Unbearable. Pain, yeah. Um, and then just any pressure. If she's still starting, I feel a lot of pressure by her ears. Like here, then call me. Okay, I will. My head feels so big. Feels like it's going to explode. The inside of my mouth is so swollen. I do it four times last night at the hospital. Left me in bed and I wasn't allowed to get up. They would keep giving me shots. I'm at home now. Everything I do, I get short breaths. I better be fucking worth it. I'm very hungry for that. Okay, three. I'm very swollen. Feels very, very uncomfortable. I need to ice my face. It hurts to move around. My mouth feels so tiny. I didn't sleep much. I woke up every hour and I was taking my pain killers. It's 10 in the morning. What the fuck did I do to myself? What did she say? I'm oh, just recording you. Welcome Hello. to LA, Mom. Okay. Nurse. Brought a nurse in. A full surprise. Nurse Jackie. Nurse Jackie. I'm going to take out the goodie bag and I'll have to check out the patient later. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mom came to save the day. Thank you for coming. I don't think I wanted to be here. I just didn't notice the severity. I thought we were just doing it. And then I found out the 11 things later. Like, what? Little brave, tough cookie. Hey, you want a memory? Here's her chin. Oh my god, that's Her jaw and her chin. That's how much they removed? Yeah. There's a lot more than that, but that's what they gave her. I'm crying. 
screen right now because I'm just going through a lot of emotions. And I'm so happy. I just feel free. Like, I could just finally be me. It's like the best feeling ever just knowing that I did it. And it might not seem like a lot, but I did it. Just, I had not an easy childhood. Wasn't the best, but it wasn't the absolute worst. But if I could have told little me that I was gonna do big things and do everything in life I wanted to do, just to take it slow and wait out the time, I think things would have been a lot easier for me. <laughs> I'm happy. These are happy tears. <laughs> and my mom is here in town. <laughs> it makes me so happy that she flew in. <laughs> my mom is the only thing I have left <laughs> in life. I just want to make her the most happiest woman ever. <laughs> Cause she's gone through so much for me and my brothers and my sister. Uh, I'm just I'm so happy. This is my new chapter. I finally did it. <laughs> Today is day four, and um, I finally took a shot. No, no, I'm in the car. <laughs> I haven't gone to poo poo in four four days, so I finally poo pooed. Um, Last night I couldn't sleep. I heard a lot. Right now I feel fine. Day five. My mom brought me to the doctor's office. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's step. Don't touch anything because your face is moving. What floor do I go? Three. Don't touch anything. I hope they take out my drinks. Come on. I'm going. I'm, I'm recording you. My goodness. Wow. I don't even know what Dang. <laughs> I want one too. <laughs> I want one too. I was going to say, don't touch the door. Let me get it. And you need to sanitize your hands as soon as you see that the sanitizer on the desk. Wait! I told you. You are so hard at it. Because you got your phone. They don't put your phone on your, near your face. Don't put your fingers anywhere near your face. You were just trying to give me a mask that you've already <laughs> been wearing. But it's your mother. And it was just my lipstick from yesterday. That's all your phone phone is on it. <laughs> Show the camera. Look at the her mask she was trying to make me wear. It's lipstick. And it was from yes. I used it just to the, the store and put it in my purse when I left. Is this it? I don't know. Don't be spinning because you're going to get lightheaded. Be nice. Oh, this is very well done. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch your face. Get your hands down. They were all in your lunch, they all gave me a ugly <gasps> They were all... <laughs> I'm surprised that your, your bruising is not bad at all. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Well, let's see my normal when we need the acrylics. You're going to start wearing a chin strap so that one you can take on and off. A deep breath when I count to three, okay? You're just gonna feel a little pulling in my hand. So on the count to three, just take a deep breath. I'm gonna pull slowly. One, two, three. Take a deep breath. There you go. Okay, put pressure here. Okay. Gotcha. I got it. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna take a deep breath and the count of three, okay? One, two, three, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. <coughs> okay. Perfect. Take a deep breath. Ready? One, two, three. Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Okay, babe. Oh, it's done. It's done. Are you okay? Uh huh. Okay. It's me. It's La Demi time. <laughs> Hi, doctor. <laughs> Holy smokes. Super small one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Looks good. Let me take a look inside your mouth. You have feeling here, right? Uh -huh. These uh, subnasal sutures? Mm -hmm. Five days. Okay. You okay? Uh -huh. But everything's good. You're gonna look fine. Okay. Hairline came down pretty good. Did it? Yeah. It's just a small forehead. Mm -hmm. Smaller forehead. <laughs> you saw the video, right? You're gonna like your nose. I am. It's beautiful. I can't wait. Yeah. I mean, everything's gonna be good. It's yeah. just a matter of time. Okay. You get it, Debbie? Did okay. you want to post? Thank you, Dr. Lee. Did Thank you, you for post everything. Or did you want to post a story? Or? No. Um, it's up to you. I think I like the suspicion of everyone waiting, waiting to see. Okay. But everything's good. Okay? Okay. I'll see you. Bye. Thank you, Dr. Lee. You have a great so one. Take care. Surgery, so I'll see her. Yeah. Okay. And just take all those sutures out. Okay. Mom's making me some soup. Nice. With all, uh, we put brie in it. We put goat cheese. Ooh, it's gonna be. It's gonna go down smoothly. 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 Oh, like it. You can mix it up, at least, sister. Well, um, your fingers weren't under surgery, right? Your fingers aren't broken. I don't see any stitches on your fingers. <laughs> you know what? Well, with that smart mouth, <laughs> you can start working your way like a Texas girl. Uh, oh, no smiling! No smiling! No smiling! Oh. No stretching! Girl, you better remember I just have to wash your hair. I know. How you want it? Let's sh show them. <laughs> show the viewers the hair. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what happened? I have to massage and scrub in that. Really? Do you think you can put my extensions in? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not using clips, girl. I might get a hole. You think I might you hit can, a hole. You could glue my wood down maybe or no? I'll glue it, but I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna puncture a hole. Cleaning the screws out the head. With you. You huh? Do what? It's really tender right there, Mom. Like where? Where on the sides I'm at? No, like in the crown. Okay. You need a screwdriver? The screw? Give me the drill so I can tighten them. You tighten them a little bit? A little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Okay. Here's your recording. That's recording.
You think I didn't get my stuff on camera? I'm gonna get my camera time. <laughs> Hey guys, it is day six, and um, my mom washed my hair last night. I still have to wash it again. A lot of hair was falling out, but I think that's because like the like cutting it and stuff. I don't know. But um, today I'm just kind of cleaning up some stickiness on my face, some bandages. Uh, I cleaned up all in there. Still dying to brush my teeth. I haven't been able to brush my teeth. Had to just only do mouthwash, like a certain doctor's mouthwash. I kind of slept all day. I've been asleep, resting. My mom went and got me a lot of groceries. So that was nice. Thank you, mom. You got me all of these goodies. Huh? You got me all the goodies. Uh huh. Of course. All the goodies. Some bruising is still swelling, but it's looking better. Okay. It's like I hurt. No! I'm just gonna clean you with peroxide. Does it look like it's healing? Okay, sometimes I laugh and I try not to, but my mom is a comedian. <laughs> I no. yell at her and tell her not to be yeah. laughing. No, it's fine. No, oh yeah. Looks good. I've been getting out after her Velma since we left your office uh, the other day. <laughs> what are they, <Lisa? laughs> And even, I was thinking, just a serious conversation. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, are you kidding? She told us not to. I got my stitches out. I no longer have stitches. And my nose. Also, <laughs> I'm really losing weight with my new diet. My mom won't be coming with me to my next consult. She'll be back in Texas. I you know. Thank you, mom, for being here. I love you. Or you don't have to thank me. You're my baby. Staying husband. Going smoothly. I'm still very, 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 very solid. But it's like it's all amazing. I came to come eat with my brother and mom, my little brother, Aiden, came from San Antonio, Texas to come kick it with his sister. Mom? Hey! She just stuffed her face with all kinds yes, of goodies. Yes, I did. Um, I'm walking around downtown like it's a spooky month of the season. Happy <laughs> Halloween. I can barely even open my mouth to speak, so my tone of voice is so low. I was talking so low, my brother was like, honey. <laughs> Don't tell your voice. Day eight. Uh, surgery with my family. Oh, it's really delicious. My mom, Elle, Tegan, Heidi Marie. <laughs> Um, feeling better, healing, just had my first outing at my Yano's. <laughs> uh, yeah, snatching back sooner or later. You see my nice little V? Okay, goodbye. This is Halloween, this is Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Are you are you looking? Do you see where we're going? We're never gonna get out. <laughs> you, are you looking, Tatum? We're never gonna get out. Once we go in, we never can get out. We're going through a little Halloween thing in the car. Mom, it says hands and feet in the car, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> we need to put yours in too. <laughs> <laughs> hands and feet in the car. Yo, we should have brought wine coolers. Good morning, it is Sunday and feeling much better. Um, through the night it's a little like hard to sleep, but I should take a brain killer. 
morning, Mom. My brother is here and making some eggs for the family. Good morning, Dennis. <laughs> Look at stupid. We're making breakfast. I can't eat any of it, but... No, but she was eating lemon cake last night because it dissolves in the mouth. <laughs> Anyways, I can't have any of that. Like I said, we're making frijitas. Migas. Migas. Not the migos, the migas. Not the migos, but the migas. Say hi, Soho. Yeah, um, this week I get my cast off, so I'm excited. I probably won't vlog a lot since these next couple days are like the basic healing and just wearing the bandages and like de swelling. But on Friday I get my nose cast off and the swelling keeps going down and down. This eye is a little bit smaller than this eye, but I'm really hoping that's just swelling because. Bye, Mom. I love you. Thank you for taking care of me. I love you. Take care of yourself, my love. Be good. And you were starting to sleep on your side a little bit this morning. Made me worry. Don't do that. They already told you no side whatsoever. Yeah, she showed me. I love you. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm here. I am getting a few steroid shots yes. to, what does it do? Decrease the swelling. <laughs> we have Vilma <laughs> and Dottie in the house. Um, always a pleasure seeing these two. Uh, I am healing guys. It's coming along. Wow. I haven't seen, <laughs> I haven't done this in a second, but wow. Wow. Feels like time is going faster than it seems. We were just two kids who were trying to live the teenage dream. We could see no reason where we should ever try to go to sleep. Remember every weekend we stayed out late and then went home late. I wish that I could live that dream. Said we'd be on forever You taught me how to love And nothing could be better than you and me You 